Hi, what's up? I, <laughs> I have made this video a number of times in my head and even physically, but it's, it's how, how do you sit in front of a camera and then tell the whole world that your life is a mess or not everything is going on as planned in your life even if you truly 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 <laughs> don't even have a like an actual plan i mean maybe even that is the problem but yeah how do you tell the world that you yeah, failure <laughs> and you have anxiety issues you can't sleep sometimes and it's a new year and you can't even create um, I mean a number of things have happened in my life I don't plan to cry I mean I don't plan to cry on this video but I just I just felt like it would be good for me or it would be good for some of you who are watching to know that it's okay to not be okay I mean <laughs> A lot of people have created videos like this and I didn't even think that I'll be part of the people who would I mean be doing videos like this but it is what it is. <laughs> A number of things have happened in my life um, that I may not be able to speak into details about. I'm sorry for the noise. Into details about but I mean it's what's happened and I can't really do anything about it except cry, <laughs> sulk for a bit, and then just I mean, go outside and then be me again. Like, and I'm so sick and tired of this process. I'm so I'm just tired. Like, I I'm rumbling a bit now, but a number of things that have been happening include the fact that I'm. I'm still trying to figure out who exactly I am. I'm still trying to figure out what exactly I want to do. I I can do a number of things. That, that's and I think that's the problem. I can do a number of things. I don't have. You know how people like you know if you when you're growing up you say you want to be a medical doctor you went to school you became a doctor or you're a nurse or you're, like you know you're an engineer it's already there you're all you've already gone to school for it you know you know what you're about right but in my case i'm i i adapt easily i learn easily i can find my way around things once i once you teach me so that's the problem. I can't seem to figure out what exactly I want to do. And I don't even know if maybe I'm not supposed to do one particular thing, but in an environment like the one that we live in, in Ghana, how do you say you don't want to do one thing? Because at the end of the day, you are supposed to go to work, bring money, and then do whatever you need to do. But if you want to do a number of things you may not have the time because if you have an eight to five or nine to five what other time would you have to go do any other thing you want to do you can't be a part-time worker maybe because for me like i mean off the top of my head if you're a part-time worker you don't get certain benefits mm -hmm. It's easier for them to lay you off if you're part-time, which means there's no job security for you. Now, in and if you are like me and you're born into a family that is, I mean, we are okay. We are not rich. That I'll say that okay. So I'm, I today, I feel like being an Instagram influencer. So I'm gonna go all in and then I'm going to, you know, invest and be an Instagram influencer. I'm going to go to different places. I'm going to take pictures. I'm going to hire somebody to help me with my videos or something so I can create something good for consumption. If you're not like me, if if that's how you are, then I mean, it, it, that, you have the financial backing because I mean, you have parents that would even support 
that you're coming from a house where at the end of the day you are even supposed to help pay certain bills you cannot afford that luxury of oh i want to do a bit of everything and i want to do part-time of this and do this and do that you it takes a certain amount of courage to be able to for somebody to say i want to go into instagram influence or i want to be a full-time content creator i think it takes a huge amount of um courage and because it's a very risky venture so i mean that's where i am at this point um apart from that there, there are a lot of things i mean my instagram page if you've noticed i haven't posted a real a real the whole year which is very weird like for me because i love to create videos i like to challenge myself to create certain videos um and edit certain videos and yeah i haven't been able to do that on the other hand i have been trying to explore tiktok i'm going to put it here or something if you want to follow me <laughs> i've been exploring and i feel like it's even easier to do because there's nobody's expecting anything from me over there i, I mean i just if i'm going somewhere i just do video 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 and then compile it and then find the sound there and then just post nobody is really expecting anything from me there but with instagram i feel like at a point you're expected to grow your the background where you work is supposed to change because like i mean last year you're doing it on a certain type of background or you're using a certain type of phone but this year you you have to upgrade that's how you grow on instagram like instagram is very visual and if people don't see that kind of growth they they are going to get bored with your content and all of that so i'm still really trying to figure out what exactly i'm doing on there i've changed my background it used to be very yellow paint i mean and i don't even like it so there is that waste of money because i don't like it the type of content i want to create and the type of place i want to create my content in i do not have money for so i, I thought i would be able to do this um wallpaper background and then just get away with it but i saw it and i saw it on the wall and then immediately i'm like nope it's not gonna work <sighs> i've ranted for eight minutes 25 26 seconds now but the long and short of it all is yesterday being um i think second march i i i had a breakdown and you can see the bags under my eyes i cried the whole night still crying i'm not over it because of certain things that happened i cannot go into details now but i'm sure i will be able to go into details in future and be able to provide a bit more insight but what has what happened just broke me down and you know that thing where a number of things have happened but you don't cry you don't cry you don't cry and it just bottles up inside you and then just one thing just breaks out all the tears that's what happened and i've been struggling i couldn't sleep in the night i even tweeted <laughs> tweeted about it i just i i couldn't i just couldn't and so today even though i feel like trash i've decided that i'm going to take myself out for lunch it's almost 12 if it's not 12 already took myself out for lunch and then um you know just feel good about myself because i'm not trash i matter if not to anybody but to myself to my family to my friends i matter and i mean i shouldn't let people control my reactions i shouldn't let people control who I am as a person and 
I'm going to, I'm just really, really, I'm just really, really struggling and I want to be fine. I want to be fine. I want to be fine because the world, you know, funny thing about adulting, even as I'm going through this, the world is not waiting for me. So I have to figure my shit out, be able to go back to work. <laughs> And make things work for me so today i'm just going to go out wow 10 minutes almost 11 minutes sorry i'm just gonna go out and then try to enjoy myself and my company even though i have no money <laughs> all right i'll see you